Greetings. Welcome to another episode of Just Beat It. In this episode, we will look at how Shripalgad Maniayar approached playing for the first song of the concert, usually the Varnam. Uh, before I say much, uh, let's listen to a concert of Sri Lagri Jairaman with Srimati Brahmanandam. Uh, and this is a double Mridangam concert of uh, Palgad Maniayar with Sri Pia Rajamani. This is the uh, Bhairavi Adatala Varnam. That was a sublime start. Uh, you will agree with me on that, I'm sure. Um, so, Sri Maniyar usually started a concert by, uh, especially the Varnam, by playing the Chapu and the Tom together. Um, and this was basically done to stabilize the tempo of the Varnam, or the first song of the concert. Uh, usually, before the concert starts, everything is set. The Sruti is set, the mics are balanced and everything. But uh, as the concert starts, it is necessary to stabilize the tempo and Sri Maniayar uh, did that uh, by playing just on the beat and the simplicity of it is such that uh, it's very difficult to do. You know, what I mean by that is, uh, you know, when I get an opportunity to play for a Varnam like this, I am very tempted to play many things. So, for example, See, I, I, I get carried away. Um, the pace is so slow that I can play many things. Uh, but uh, Sri Maniyar would have, would have none of that. Uh, he just played on the beat. And only after the first Avaratanam did he take up to playing and all of that. All of that. So to reiterate that, let's listen to another uh, concert of it, office with uh, Sri uh, Lagri Jayaraman again. This is the Kamboji Ardalavarna. stop that. Um, I just wanted to uh, read you a comment in the uh, YouTube comments box for this concert and this uh, listener says, listening to Mani Ayer literally sing the Varnam on the Mridangam is a thing of beauty that would remain unparalleled. Uh, I completely agree with that and um, I think uh, one of the things that inspired him was uh, listening to the Panjari Melam. Uh, in the Kerala drums, and they start with just a simple beat, ta, ta, and they go on, right? Uh, in, in in the time of the temple festivals, uh, if you uh, listen to the Panjari Melam, you will see the start is just a simple straight beat on the beat, and um, and this does wonders to sort of uh, you know fix the tempo of the concert. Um, anyhow, let's also listen to Sri T. R. Rajamani. Um, he plays for the Hyderabad brothers. Uh, let's see how he approaches the Varna. <coughs> Uh, 
So notice he also starts with tam, 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 uh, right on the beat to keep that tempo, get that tempo right. Um, anyhow, uh, with that, we come to an end of this uh, episode. Uh, I have a request for you. If you have heard of such concerts where the Mridangist has played just the beat on the beat, and what I mean is tam, 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 so, uh, and done it for two avaratanams or more, uh, please let me know uh, through the comments box. And if you wish to talk more about uh, appreciating uh, Mridangam accompaniment for Carnatic music or percussion accompaniment for Carnatic music, I'm all ears. Uh, and uh, till next time, you all take care. Bye-bye.